Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the video on how to divide double digit numbers with a 100 bead abacus. If you have just watched the video on how to use a 100 bead abacus to divide single digit numbers, you are in the right place. Let's get started right away. All right, so we're going to start. This video is going to divide two double digit numbers, so we're going to start with 72 divided by 12. So like we've done before, we're going to form the first number in the equation. So 72, 2, 4, 6, 7, 72. And we're going to divide that by 12 and see how many times it fits into 12. So I'm going to write down 72 divided by 12. And my 7's a little messed up, but it'll work. 72 divided by 12. I'm going to keep tallies on the right and I'm going to keep my notes on the left, like I've done before. So we need to get rid of 12s. So we get rid of 1, 2, and 1. That's 1 12. Let's move, mark a 1 down. Since we don't have any more 1s to deal with, we can subtract a 10 off and add these 10 1s back on. This is the same like we, so we have talked about in the subtraction videos. This is the same as this. So. 60 is the same as 50 and 10 ones. So let's continue. Take away 2 and 1, add another tally and another bead. 2 and 1, add a tally and a bead. 2 and 1, add another tally and another, another bead. Remember to add the beads to the right side so you're not taking away and mixing up your numbers. Add another tally another two, another one, another tally, and then another bead, and then another two, one, tally, and a bead. We have run out of numbers down here, so we can write down our tally count and our bead count. It's not very hard to see, but our answer is six. And there's my messed up seven, in case you were wondering. All right, let's try another one. We're gonna try 88 divided by 11. This one should be really simple. In fact, for this one, if you wanted a challenge, you wouldn't even have to use a sheet of paper because you could go, you have to divide 11, so two beads, one and one, add a tally and a bead. Subtract one and one, add a bead, add a tally. Subtract one and one, add a bead, add a tally. Continue on, one and one, bead, tally. 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 Last two, tally, bead. Tricked you there. You thought I was gonna go bead, tally. Anyway, we can now count the beads and see that our answer is eight. If you're forming it on abacus, which this one I'd suggest, your abacus should look like this or something close to it, and your tally sheet should look something close to this. Let's try one more example. This one will be a little trickier than the other two, but still doable. Let's do 98 divided by 14. So let's form this on the abacus. 98, that is. And there's our 98. And then we need to divide by 14. So. I'm going to write my equation on my sheet of paper, 98 divided by 14, and I'm going to keep tallies on here as well. So we've got 4 and 1. There's one bead, one tally. 4 and 1. One bead, one tally. Since we've run out of 1s, we can subtract one 10 bead and add the 10 ones back. I explained that earlier, and we can take away 4 beads, 1 bead. We can add a bead, add a tally. Take away 14, add a bead, add a tally. Take away two, this is where having the sheet of paper can be helpful. If you need to write down the two, you can. So we can move, subtract 110, add the 10 back, and go three, four. Now we're back on track to continue and subtract one. Let's go and add a tally and a bead. We've got five. So let's go four, one, bead, tally, four, 
15 and we have bead and tally. This is another easy one, but it gives us an answer of seven. It's seen on the abacus here this way or some way close to and on our tally this way. Now that you've learned how to solve double digit division problems, I'm gonna give you some examples to try. I'll give you 10 seconds to solve them. Some of them you may only need 10 seconds. Some of them you will need more. If you need more, pause the video and don't just look at the answer. Let's start by solving 60 divided by 12. This is what your abacus should look like and you should have gotten 5 as your answer. This is what the abacus should look like again. Tallies if you're using tallies. Did you get it? Great job. Let's move on and try 77 divided by 11. Your answer should be 7 and your abacus should look something like this. Or if you were using tallies, your tallies should look like this. Did you get it? Well done. Let's lastly try 96 divided by 16. Your answer should be 6 and your abacus should look something like this if you're using your abacus, your tally sheet like this if you're using your tally sheet. You did a great job learning how to divide double digit numbers today. I hope you've learned a lot throughout my videos and if you are looking for one more challenge, there is one more challenge video on dividing triple digit numbers. I'm James Porter signing off for now, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it.